Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be walking you through exactly all of the steps that you need to take to download and install the Notion Enhancer. And the reason for making this video is because there's been an absolute major update in January 2022 to the way you install and access the Notion Enhancer. And not only that, there's also been a major functionality update, but more on that later on in the video. So make sure you stick to the end. I should warn you though, there was one step in the process that absolutely freaked me out. But don't worry though, because there's never been a better time to start using the Notion Enhancer. Because this update has taken it from the dark ages, and I literally mean the dark ages, to the modern day beautiful slick design. So now let's jump onto the PC and get this video started. So the first thing we need to do is head over to the Notion Enhancer GitHub page. I'll put a link in the description below, but if you do want to search for it, you can go through it via Google as I'm showing you on screen right now. And once you've done all of that, hopefully you should land on this page over here. You can see the latest version of the Notion Enhancer at the top. Step number two is to simply click on the installation link on this page and that should take you to this page over here. So you can use the Notion Enhancer with your Mac OS, Linux and Windows. As well as using the desktop app, you can actually now for the very first time use it on your web client. So if you're using Chrome, you can download it as a Chrome extension. The only place you can't use the enhancer is actually in your mobile app. And I don't really see that as a big problem. Step three. Now, if you've never used a Notion enhancer before, then you can skip this step and go straight on to step number four. But for those of us like me that have been using Notion enhancer before version 0.11.0, then you gotta do this step, otherwise it's not gonna work. So let me just break it down to you. It's very, very straightforward, right? I want you to go into your file explorer, then I want you to navigate to your C drive. Next, you need to click on the users folder. Next, I want you to click on the folder with your name on it. And finally, you should see a folder in this location called .notion-enhancer. We'll just go back to the website, just double check that's the folder we need to delete. And there you go, you just simply go ahead and delete that. Step number four. Now we need to go ahead and uninstall the Notion desktop app if you've got it already installed on your PC, which is basically gonna be every single person that uses Notion, right? And the reason for that is because the Notion desktop app is actually included in the package with the Notion enhancer. So it's very easy to do. Simply open up your settings, go to add and remove programs, type in Notion, and then simply go ahead and uninstall the app. And then you're done. Step number five. So now you need to decide whether you want to install your Notion Enhancer in your browser as an extension or you want to be able to download it on your Windows, on your Mac OS or on your Linux. So it's totally up to you, whichever one you decide. In this video, I'm going to be covering off the uh, Windows desktop app and also the Chrome web extension. Step number six, let's go ahead and install the desktop app. What you need to do is click on that installer with a .exe file. You should now see your file being downloaded and then just wait for the installation to complete. Once the installation is complete, you might get an error message like the one that I've got on my PC right now. Now, truth be told, this is one of the main reasons why I ended up making this video because at this point, I absolutely freaked out because I definitely don't want to be installing any executables on my PC that are malware. <laughs> I'll keep this part of the video in because this is the point where I actually read the text that's been on the screen all this time. And once you've read that, then you just go ahead and click on the executable, let the installation run. Once it's finished running, then just open up the file. And this time around, make sure you click on more information and then click on run anyway. Once you do that, it should open up this final installation window. So once you stop freaking out and you finally trust the application, then I want you to go ahead and click install. Next, just hit the finish button and installation is complete. Step number seven. In order to access the Notion Enhancer, all you now have to do is open up your Notion desktop app and you should see this new menu item on the left hand side. It's obviously called Notion Enhancer. Once you click on that, it should open up this term and conditions page. Just go ahead and click accept. And voila, you should now be in the Notion Enhancers menu window. You can go ahead and scroll all the way down. You can see all of the different uh, features that are available as part of the Notion Enhancer. 
you can go ahead and try those out. You can go and click on core, extensions, themes, quite a few things to play around with. If you are interested in learning more about all of the features of the Notion Enhancer, then I'll put a link in the video description below of my video where I walk you through every single feature of the Notion Enhancer. So you can see for yourself all the features it has to offer and which ones you actually prefer using yourself. So let me just quickly show you one of the best features of the Notion Enhancer, which is the tabs feature, just so that you can get a small sense of the features that are within the Notion Enhancer. So all you have to do is toggle this particular feature on. Next, I want you to head over to the bottom right and click on reload to apply changes. Your Notion desktop app should then automatically restart. And as soon as that's finished, you should see the tabs feature now being active on your Notion desktop app at the very top left hand corner. What that basically means is you can go ahead and simply click on the plus arrow and then you can open up a brand new Notion page within the same desktop app. And you can open up as many tabs as you want. And this feature alone will save you so much time within your Notion desktop app because a lot of the times you want to kind of reference multiple pages in your Notion. Therefore, you can just simply have those tabs open and they're so quick just to be able to switch between the tabs as well. So really good productivity hack if you are using the Notion desktop app. Also, if you haven't done so already, then please make sure you check out my video on Notion progress bars. I walk you through step by step exactly how to create all of these progress bars. So I'll link that video also in the description below. And if you want to turn this feature off, then you simply go back into your Notion enhancer menu window and then you scroll down to your particular feature that you've turned on click on the toggle turn it off and then you just simply go ahead and reload your notion app and as you can see the tabs feature has now been turned off within your notion desktop app step number eight here's how you can install your notion enhancer using your web browser so all you have to do is go back onto your github page and then click on the installation now you simply need to scroll down and select whichever browser you want to choose. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the Chrome Web Store. As soon as you click on the link, it takes you directly to the extensions page. Now simply go ahead to the top right hand corner, click on add to Chrome. It should download the extension. And once that's finished, you should see it pop up on the top right hand corner. Head over to your Notion app and you should see the Notion Enhancer both on the left hand side, but you can also access it through the Chrome extensions. Simply click on it. Obviously go and accept the terms and conditions and once you've done that you should open up to the same menu as we saw previously on the Notion desktop app. Something that I did notice was that the features in the web browser app is a little bit different to the Notion desktop app. For instance, as you can see, there is no tabs functionality when you're using the web browser. However, there are still loads of functionalities within the web browser. Let me go ahead and quickly show you scroll to top, which is another really good one that I use all the time. Again, simply go ahead, toggle it on, restart your Notion. And once you go back into your Notion web browser app, then I just want you to go into any page that's really long in length. And then you can see at the bottom right hand corner, you've got this arrow up button. As soon as you click that, it takes you straight to the top. So there you have it. Hopefully now you should be able to install the Notion Enhancer. I do just want to give kudos to the guys over at the Notion Enhancer development team. I think they're doing a fantastic job. I mean, this really is a great free Notion add-on and they continue to evolve and build on top of it. And as you can see, it's completely transformed the way you can actually use it now. And I'm pretty sure more and more people are going to start using this. And if you haven't been using this already, then I highly recommend that you use it because it does transform the way you use Notion day to day. So if you found value from this video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, then leave it in the comments section below. And if you haven't done so already, then make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can watch more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video.